Chicks Shawarma and Grill in Pittston, you can find a variety of authentic Middle Eastern cuisine. This is Dean Jensen, and Dean is going to cook us up something special. What are we making, Dean? Today we're going to be making our mixed grill, which is kufta. It's a lamb and beef mix. Mm -hmm. And we have chicken kebabs, and we have lamb kebabs. Excellent. All right, so Dean, let's get started. So this is our lamb kebab. It takes about 15 minutes to prepare. This is our chicken. Now that looks like it's been marinated. So you marinate all that? Yep. We marinate them in the morning. We make everything fresh. Nothing's brought from outside that is already pre-made. Love it. Everything's done in house, which is yep. so important because it makes such a difference with the taste, doesn't it? Oh yeah. It yeah. makes everything so much better. Yes, for sure. So Dean, what flavors are in the chicken? In the chicken, it has turmeric and we marinate it for 12 hours so that it has the flavor made into it. Then we have the kufta, it is lamb and beef mix, and we add parsley and house spices into those. And then the lamb is marinated with yogurt and house spices. So after 15 minutes, we put it on a pita. All right. And now we do the sides and the rice. Okay, terrific. I love this dish because, I mean, you get all the different meats in one, which is really, really nice. A lot of people order this because they get so much in it. You do, you And they get a variety of how much they actually could get. It's nice because you get to sample everything. Yeah. Now we come over here to the salads and we're going to put some bubble ganoush. So it's eggplant, parsley, tahini sauce, and garlic all blended up together. And then we're going to put some tzatziki, which it's yogurt and cucumbers mixed together. There you have it. Our quick chick mixed grill with bubble ganoush, tzatziki, and rice. Terrific. And then we have lamb, chicken, and kufta. You're also noted for your shawarma. And can you tell us what that is? How does that go? We have chicken shawarma and we have beef shawarma, which we have to keep marinated in the fridge All so right. that it doesn't dry out. All right, so what's the process with that? So we marinate the breast and the thighs in shawarma seasoning and we let it marinate overnight. And then the next day we put it on the skewer, breast, thigh, breast, thigh, until it's about maybe a foot high. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we turn on the fire and let it cook for a little bit. And then when someone comes in, I cut it up, put it on the grill, and ask them if they want different stuff inside, like mm -hmm. onions, peppers. They can make a sandwich, a platter, or whatever they would like. Well, Dean, this looks fantastic, and thank you for having us. I appreciate you being here. Terrific. Now, let's tell everybody a little bit more about what Quick Chick has to offer, because you have a lot of different things on the menu. Yeah, we have spinach pies, we have grape leaves, we have tabbouleh, bubble ganoush, our mixed grill, our chicken shawarma platter, which comes with french fries. Then we have our falafel, our hummus. Then we have rice with Arabic salad and tahini salad. Mm. And we have our baklava and our desserts. Those desserts look, everything looks great. I have a sweet tooth, so the desserts, like, my eye goes right to them. I know everybody's gonna wanna step by, so why don't you tell everybody where Quick Chick is located? So, we're located next to Uncle Joe's and Chef's Corner on 315, or if it's easier for you to remember, we're across the street from Pilot. Exactly, exactly. Easy to find, great food, and everyone's going to wanna visit, and we thank you so much again for preparing all this for us. Thanks, Dean. You're welcome.